Hey, this is my second session of playing the Year Alpha of Gender Bender DNA Twister Extreme. So, um, I, yeah, let's continue on then. Our winter and yeah, we're going to cinema to watch some romantic movie or something. I'm wondering if uh, in the beta and later they'll start adding screens uh, f for these situations. Uh, really? <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with being a person with emotion and everything, but I'm thinking it, the whole gender thing of it. It's just, uh, I don't know. I mean, I know in Misfiled it happened. Uh, Ash, the main character in Misfiled, he became more emotional when he went from male to female. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes, that outfit. D uh. Yeah. So no bisexual has been... Ah, well. I'm assuming that at the end you have the option to choose between either staying a girl or turning back into a guy. It'd be a little odd if you were really quick to accept it. <clears throat> well, yes. At times, remember last night. I, I don't think it would really work with that and we were of course in the real world we'd get these magical gender changing explosions. Hmm. Straight, well get... Oh Hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I suppose it helps how you turn into cute girl, I guess that helps. Right? Ah, now not even given an option, just assume you could go with it. Uh, and that music's playing again.
Yeah, you may be able to hear it a little bit. Yeah, you can hear it a little bit, can't you? Yeah, that's that's the music they have plays in this situation. Uh, very appropriate somehow. I wonder if Yale did sat around the front of the class even when he was a dude. Isn't this class supposed to be extremely boring? Yeah, there we go. He has to. Yeah. I don't know much about um, uh, biology courses. I took one in high school, like a unit or something. Was it? I think it was a half semester or something, or was it a full semester? I can't remember. But this is uh, is is this university or college? I can't remember. And then they're skipping through. <laughs> hmm. It's just Mm-hmm. Um, not relevant to this whole Let's Play thing, but I haven't actually been to a movie theater since, I think, X-Men 2, X-Men edited. I don't like theaters much. I need, I need captions, and although they do offer rear window captioning a lot of the time, I end up developing a headache uh, half the time or so when I go watch a movie in theater, so I just don't see much point. Not to mention the food and drink is expensive. Um, but uh, I do like the Loganberry flavored drink. Mmm, something to drink. I think that actually does say Lolita on the left. I guess I guess there's a sh shop that offers Lolita style stuff specifically. Then there's a shop just for underwear and bikinis over there. Uh, I don't know what the uh, there was a phone in the background. I have no idea what the scales place is. Mm. Well, um, two books adapted into movies by the same author at the same time, that just, I, I mean, I mean, considering the whole plot of this thing, it just, but still, it's a bit odd that two movies by the same author would be adapted at the same time. Even if they're completely unrelated works, just by the same author, it just seems a little odd that both would get adapted at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> that that sounds similar. I mean, uh, authors do tend to have a particular style they like, a certain genre. I guess this is 
romance, same type of characters, just different location. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of writers that have varied works. Um, Mm. Okay then. I, I it is um yeah. I guess I guess winter's sort of the bars just a little bit slightly dominant. Hmm. <laughs> yes, a lot of movies are very predictable. You can see, of course, same is true for games and books. I mean, even my f one of my favorite uh, book series, my favorite author, Terry Goodkin, or is it Goodkin? I'm not sure. Um, sorry to say, I figured out what was going to happen at the end of the final book in the main series. Um, it was it was a pretty key point. I saw it coming though, but still, I really enjoyed that book. But um, well, this is nice. Now going back onto the plot again. I wonder how long before they actually work up the nerve to kiss. or some other nuttiness, yes. Uh, uh, going off on a tangent again, but you're not really supposed to feed bread to ducks. When they eat it, it swells up inside them and makes it feel really full, even though bread is not good food for them. It's not nutritious. It's... It just doesn't meet their dietary requirements, but they get full on it really fast, so it's not healthy at all. Uh, didn't they just talk about that yesterday? Well, that's just the way uh, sexuality works. You can't just force yourself. Not really. Well, you can force yourself, but that won't make you happy. I mean... There are certain fringe benefits, but I wonder if they're actually going to cover, you know, PMS or something in this. Uh, I can definitely see it being an option. You either go to being a guy, and go. I wonder if there's going to be another girl in this where you were. Um, she'd be interested in seeing him as a guy, but only if he's a guy. <laughs> and now, now, instead of a few days, it's now a week or two. Next time they talk, maybe it'll be a month or two. Mm. But it's rather uncomfortable, isn't it? Mm -hmm, I would think so. I mean, there are certain benefits, but it's the sort of thing that you 
want to try for a day or two. Not, not on a permanent basis, usually. I think that's a, that's the sort of thing that you actually know when you're really young. I keep mixing up the two terms, transgender and transsexual. One means that they've changed from one to the other, and the other one means that um, they're in one body, but they're actually at their core or another. Uh, it's just um, like born into the wrong body sort of thing. I don't know, I can't remember which one it is. I keep going off on a tangent here. Uh huh. What what time of year is this supposed to be again? Cafe next to. Huh? Again? Well, I'm not surprised. Well, of course, people would think you're a little odd. Some people would. Well, this is different. Our office, I guess. What's that in the background? It's supposed to be the girl, uh, Liam's girlfriend, or a relative. I would. I don't know. Uh huh. I guess they decided to take advantage of what they discovered. Or perhaps intentionally did. No. Mm hmm. No. No. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. Now the madam type situation. Oh dear. Dina Lynn. <laughs> The thing is, there is actually a lot of generally useless DNA in humans, um, but some of that stuff just doesn't actually work because we don't have um, the right way of expressing it. So, for example, um, like if a gene was activated to grow another tail instead of growing a tail, you'd I don't know, grow, grow an arm or something. Or just some weird growth. It wouldn't grow a proper tail anymore. It's just... Genetics is weird. 
there's a way of genes expressing themselves. It's very important. It actually changes throughout your life. Um, it's it, that's the reason why people who are genetically identical uh, twins um, they can grow up looking very different because of the way their genes express themselves. If they grow up in a different environment, eat different things, exposed to different activities, they can they can it can change them considerably from a twin. I mean you could definitely tell that they're still related. Maybe even that they are twins but they would definitely look different. Uh, but I don't really know that much about genetics. Just stuff I've read about, heard about. So we now, so immunity to a reversal process, that's a little bit inconvenient. Really? No choice. Even if ultimately you would decide to stay a girl, um, not having a choice makes a huge difference. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that actually makes any sort of sense, the explanation. But, you know, we take liberties with reality for the convenience of the plot. The cat's around. He's been a furball. I just fed him not that long ago and he's probably hungry again. Such a furball. Just hope he doesn't start nibbling on things. Ah, yeah, good. Just stay there. Be good, cute cat. Yeah, you're already calling Dan, she. Rather than here, here, well, getting used to it all, aren't you? Something gonna have to, but I'm wondering if they'll again introduce a Dusik Machna at the end and just find oh, we found a solution by magic, and now you have the option, but it's permanent, probably. It's an either or proposition. I wonder if Winter will pop by, wondering why Yale didn't show up. Mm-hmm. Probably Winter. Yep. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if the R assets will be changed to reflect the actual appearance of the person. I mean, yeah, it looks pretty damn normal now. Not exact, almost smiling, which I don't think you yeah, would be doing, given the situation.
indeed. Hmm. It's a whole situation. If they're gonna hate you for it, then it's not worth bothering about. You can't force other people to fail or certainly or think a certain way. They are the way they are, and you are the way you are. You can adapt, but you can't change a core, usually. Oh, really? Mm. Confident, aren't you? Just um, it's a little easy. You're gonna have to get used to that particular pronoun, aren't you? It's permanent now. Supposedly, ah, finally. And it's playing that same music again. They really have to insert screens into there. I'm assuming they will maybe even expand upon that whole situation a bit. Curse you do. Uh, far cry from how you started. Uh, I suppose if you're not going to bind them anymore. I don't know about this. I suppose I've been going the crazy result. The thing is, I'm not actually a fan of large breasts, particularly oversized, ginormous melons. They're already rather big as they are. But I don't know, it probably look a little ridiculous. But, um. I don't know. I might. If I play this through this character again, uh, I'd probably wait until the, um final release before I do it, but I might go the moderate um, route, then meaning I'd stay the same, keep things the same. Of course, I wouldn't have taken the serum in the first place, would I? But I might still have gotten that enhancement for Yale, anyway, one way or another. But, uh, I don't know, I guess so. Just see what happens. <laughs> oh, 
Aren't they already like geese almost? So what? F cups? They're already pretty big. Get get you cat ears or is it dog ears? D is cat ears. Doctor Kitty. That is the sound of me slapping my forehead. Mm -mm. Uh. Oh dear, this is going to be ridiculous. This is going to be ridiculous. Yeah, it looks like probably F cups there. It wouldn't make cause back aches. I mean, the, the what? Two thirds the size of. Yo's pretty head. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm guessing they cool animal appearance things. Oh, really? Jeez. Yeah, just a tad. Yes, there is such a thing as too big. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that would actually happen. I suppose if you can actually do the magic thing of Enhancing the size with just a potion. I suppose uh, such a thing as increased sensitivity could happen, but the thing is, um, uh, sensitivity is preset, I think, for a person, and um, making them larger just spreads out sensitivity. So smaller breasts are actually more sensitive, and I mean, at least relative to the size. Relative to a larger one. Yes. You're her dress up doll. A living dress up doll. I wonder if it's coming too close. I've been playing for a bit over a half hour now. So that's about a tool. It's called, um. About, about an hour, an hour and 50 minutes now. Total. And ending 4 of 4. I guess 3 of 4 would be, you know, without the enhancements. Yeah, I haven't I haven't seen any bugs really as far as I can recall. The thing is I didn't save. Um but I can I can always play it again, but I'll skip directly to the uh other endings, uh, other choices. I think it gives you an option to do that. Um 
let's see, CG gallery. Yeah, I'm missing three. I'm guessing for the other endings or something. And see that that was something that just that was just given. So yeah, I'm missing three of the CGs. And yeah, see, it is placeholder. So I'm guessing that they'll have something a little more detailed in the future. Well, that's it. I did a playthrough of Yale uh, for Gender Bender DNA Twister Extreme Alpha. Yo. Um, and that's it for now. I guess um, if you're interested in the game, there will be a link again in the description so you can buy it on Desura. Um, uh, so apparently, there'll be 13 playable characters. Um, if you order now, we'll get 13 playable characters in the future, um, and, uh, access, access to the ar assets as well. If you're, if you're a backer, if you become a backer, you get access to the art assets, which is something I'm looking forward to. About, se supposed to be setting around a month from now, um, you can check the video info to see what a month was from now in the video. Okay, that's enough for me blathering on. I'm just going to stop now and encode this and upload this. Oh, I got to remember to crop the black borders in. Uh, Alright then. I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe you'll buy this if you liked it. Bye-bye um, then.